hello, hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. Um, it's obviously not going according, sorry, let me settle down so that it focuses. But it's um, obviously not day two as in I'm vlogging back to back. I think I mentioned it a few videos ago, but Vlogmas for me will be Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. That's what feels manageable and that even then I'm just like, mm. <laughs> well, you actually manage it but I'm I, like I, that's my hope that's my goal to do it three times a week starting with today when this uh, no when I'm filming it the first day of vlogmas will go up I am in my festive jumper that I love so much that I got from Elsie Waikiki a few years ago and I'm just like I just wish they committed to bringing in festive jumpers like this every single year I don't think that's the case but it's okay as you can see from the presence behind me I have uh, Oh, it looks like I've been wrapping. I, well, I have been wrapping, but not because I'm wrapping Christmas presents. I've, I've actually been filming the giveaway, which is this bad boy that's going out on Monday. I actually have to get um, my, my delivery team to just know that I'm going to need you on Monday because as soon as I select that winner, I'm going to send this off to them. Um, I was trying to film that so that it goes up ASAP um, and then I realized I have been doing all this work and I've not picked up my camera to vlog anything at all ah, and here I am being like three times a week vlogmas but anyway I believe I believe what I'm about to do now is film some stories about each brand just to give context as to why I really love them and why I thought it would be a great addition to this hamper uh, I've got some Mothaga tea products here I First, now that I've even mentioned that, can I just tell you the one that I love? I've been going, I've been taking so much. I even just have like a few of the, uh, tra oh, literally I have three more of them in there. I love these so much. But this one, Menth du Maroc. Not sure I pronounced that right. Um, it's so good. It's got like a zesty side to it. It's green tea, lemon, chamomile, fennel, and pomegranate seeds. So good i love it so much in the evenings it's just perfect and then this is like their festive uh uh loose leaf tea let me just show you what it looks like because their packaging is also just so nice Oop. i think they released these last year i want to say um but that's what it looks like and then you open it let me try this one don't know why I can't. Oh, okay. I think that one's stuck. I'm not sure what exactly happened. Um, but that's what it looks like. It's just a beautiful loose leaf tea. Oh, I think I pressed it too far deep. That's what I did. I'm going to have to fix this later because right now I have to have these stories go up. And this girl told herself that she's going to also uh, put up her Christmas tree today. And I've got so much to do. This is just okay. Never ends. Never ends. But I'm so excited for that Christmas tree to go up. You've no idea. Yesterday was uh, December 1st. So we opened up our advent calendars. Very exciting. Um, and I have told myself next year I really want to try and get. I really want to try and get a different kind of advent calendar. Maybe a beauty one. Just not sure which one. Because I, I don't know which. Oh, I don't know what advent calendar would actually excite me. Um, but I want to find a different kind of advent calendar. Um, right, okay. Let me take this content that needs to go up on stories and then I can upload everything. Oh, I only talked about Mothega Tea Company. I was going to talk about my sandals from Equeta as well because they're down here. But I won't talk about anything because right now I just need to get stuff up. But how exciting is this? How exciting is this? I even got a little card. Let's go outside. We can hang out on the Ooh. beach. With My goodness, so much has happened today. It is 5 p.m. Oh, oh, 
I was gonna say it's now my video is about to go up because it was at 99% like checks were running It was 99% and now it says checks are taking longer than usual to be completed, but are still running. It's 507. I'm just gonna Because I think it affects my ability to uh, Monetize I'm just gonna post it so I can like Focus on the next thing which has been what I've been doing today. It's just a like focus on the next thing finish this task focus on the next finish this task focus on the next and i'm about to press publish vlogmas day one quick energy for my thoughts on adult friendship vlogmas day one we are still checking your video wait for our checks to finish before publishing to ensure that your video can be monetized you see it you see i'm just gonna say publish it's okay i'm just gonna publish oh my goodness so i was just I, i've I have uh, published it, it's live on Facebook, it's on Twitter, and I was just on my phone because I wanted to um, get the link and put it on my Instagram stories, which I'm gonna try and do as I talk to you, even though my track record of, you see, I can't even think now, but of uh, multitasking is not great, but I'm just gonna try and do it. Anyway, have you guys watched the Meghan and Harry trailer? I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited about it. Not gonna lie. I like I made a fuss last night when I noticed um, I think it was on Vogue. I saw a post about like the new trailer and I was like stop everything We need to watch the trailer on the TV and I literally just interrupted my mom's shows so I can put it up I don't know about you guys, but I'm just so fascinated by the Meghan Harry versus the royal family like that dynamic i just find it like i don't know just incredibly fascinating intriguing in case you're wondering i am definitely more skewed to fangirl and support megan more than i don't know the royal family um and it feels like it's i don't know that just conversations can be quite polarized about this um yeah i cannot wait i actually was trying to figure out if they set a date um for when the video goes up on uh, not the video but the documentary goes up on netflix i don't think they've put that up yet i cannot wait i cannot wait to watch everything everything about it i will say though there's something really like in your face about harry just being like yeah no that's not working for me anymore. And I'm not gonna pretend that it is. It's not working for me. It's not working for my family. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I think we better close the windows. Um, but it, it, I just, I don't, Amani, do you care about Megan? <laughs> she almost attacks herself. She started on the on the Christmas tree, actually. Do you, does that, does, does that, are you interested? Are you like me? Are you gonna? Would you watch the documentary? I would. You would. Are you Team Megan? Why are you trying to get me in trouble? No, oh, she, she doesn't want to get in trouble by saying where she is on the internet. It's okay. It's okay. Um. Yeah, I, I, I'm just gonna. Yeah, I think, I think it's. I think if you know me, you know I'd be like Team Megan. That's like, excuse me. Babes doesn't want to go on the tour. Don't make babes go on the tour. Okay. Thanks. That was a really rubbish British accent, but <laughs> there we go. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I, I find it really odd how people can feel aggressive about it. And it feels like, yeah, the, the British media especially can just be a little aggressive. And obviously, because I'm not from, I've never been there. I, like, I, I don't feel any attachment towards the royal family it's just like mm, okay and i guess from their perspective it's like a huge part of their heritage of their sense of being and identity which i, I mean it's not the healthiest approach even though we all kind of take on these like strong feelings about ideas and um people or whatever so i'm not one to judge because you know i have my own things too but yeah, I don't know. I just, I kind of, I, I just go Megan. Sorry. Would love to know what you think. Anyway, enough uh, talk about Megan and Harry and the princes and duchesses and all these people. 
we're putting up the Christmas tree. But before that, <clears throat> what I need to do, Amani is like grouping them up. I don't know if you, if you remember, but I, uh, my Christmas tree kind of looks like this. And I know I'm showing you what the, I'm gonna actually just gonna pan and show you how messy everything is. But you kind of have to group them because there's a system. I do feel that in the next few years, I'm going to try and find a way to upgrade my tree. If I can figure out how to ship it here at the most affordable price, I will do it. And I will invest in an even better tree. Um, but for now, it's living in here, which for the record, it's in my huge canvas sandstorm carrier i don't know what else to call it but i'm so grateful um this was a gift from the sandstorm sandstorm team it is a little bit pricey but i will say it is absolutely worth it if you're looking to store and have your christmas tree for a long time and if you purchased the one from palestina last time i checked it may have changed but last time i checked it came in a box which after year one was falling apart so this just preserves everything perfectly and they measured it to this tree and so it it fits everything down to a t so happy um and they even i think did they call it something is there a name oh gosh now i don't know if i'm gonna find it i'm not sure i'm gonna find it but i do remember maybe it was in the package they sent i'm not entirely sure but something oopsie gosh i'm just not i'm not doing a great job vlogging here something I, I can't remember what they called it. Anyway, um, can I just quickly pan to my my house because I need to show you how messy it is. Um, it There is junk everywhere. Every corner you turn, there's stuff. This is not how I like to live. I'm very much like, <laughs> I was gonna say minimalist. I'm really not a minimalist, but I like when there's like not too much stuff but just life has taken over and I feel like this shows the state of my mind and where things have been for me in the last couple of weeks. I just have stuff everywhere. This is like giveaway um, stuff for the weeks to come and I'm trying to like keep them organized. I, I don't even know what some, yeah, more giveaway stuff. Um, oh, I don't know, oh, this was a present, a little gift, a hamper that came from Lady Luck and best believe I'm actually going to save it and open it on Christmas Day I know that might sound crazy but I just I was so surprised by the gesture and I like I at this point in time I'm here to to stretch out Christmas for as long as possible so I am not opening that today I am waiting I'm gonna keep it somewhere and then just be like Merry Christmas to me <laughs> um, I was doing stories with these and like these things as well stories stories we've started opening our chocolate advent calendars uh oh these aren't mine but we started opening them um i was wrapping a gift because it was a birthday party today i just i just need you to see how messy everything is and i don't like this as someone who even loves flowers i just think i've overdone it like there's just there's things everywhere it's too much my goal is to lessen, is to lessen all this stuff. But before we lessen, let me unbox. <laughs> because my Savo store order came in and I know in there, there are ribbons that I got from Amazon. And I'm just like crossing my fingers that they actually work, oh, that they look good. Um, I might have to turn them into little bows. I'm not sure how we'll use them. Amani and I will figure it out. Yeah, isn't that amazing in Christmas time? You can do it, I believe in you. Okay, this does not look too good. <laughs> but it is the first string of lights. The second is here, and this one is a lot more complicated to try and string up. Hopefully, though, it'll help fill up those patches. I do wish, I do wish I had... Like three of those. Look how wants just become, like just there, it's never ending, it's never ending. Um, the top looks perfectly lit. Our goal is to try and get all these spots looking just as good. But so far, so good. I'm feeling more festive already. We even have like some Christmas carols in the background. 
and let us continue. Oh, look, when you come inside, it's so magical. We did, for the record, we did try and push the first string of lights deeper in so that it illuminates the tree from inside, if you know what I mean. Um, and then these ones will kind of hang out here. They'll kind of go up here. You can't even see me. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, I feel like I'm going to cry. Why are you oh. crying? Be serious. Because Merry Christmas. Oh, it's so cute. So pretty. And look at your sweater. Hey, look at my sweater. It's twinkling. <laughs> so happy. So happy. So, shall we get into one of these packages just to see the ribbon? No, I, no, I need to start getting ready. Sharon. I'm ready, please. Look, no, I, like, just like watch, everyone oh, is calling me asking your life, me. You're late Literally. To yeah, and I'm already late. Yeah. And, and I'm already late. I, what time is that? No, what time did I come today? today? What, what time, time did I come? What time is the actual thing starting? It was supposed to start at six. What time is it now? Six something. Yeah, exactly. It'll be okay if you show up at 7.30. No one goes to a party. You think you go to a club at 7? Am I going to a club? Can you, you delete going? that? Say, take that back right now. You're not right filming? Now. Are you take filming? Take that back right now. I'm filming. <laughs> it was still on. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so. Ooh, if it can focus on me. Um, I meant to open the boxes from Savo Store a while back, but got caught up. Um, got caught up trying to put this tree up. Mamani is busy trying to, I don't know, she's attacking the box. She's not, opening, not opening it. it. She's attacking it, okay? I don't know what the box ever did to Amani. I think we all heard what's happening and why Amani. I don't know if she, if, if she deleted that part. Um, oh, that's Nyla's present. What's Sorry. <laughs> that's, no. We're not opening that. Sorry. Whoops. Yeah, like I don't my, need to leave. Like that's my little baby's present. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Here, this is the one. You wanna open yeah. that? Okay, I'll open it. Cause Amani has I'm like cute. The box. You have the. Uh, look at. I wish you just saw what she did. Oh my god. I goodness. wasn't looking, but like also, it's okay. See how like mine felt a little bit less aggressive. Crazy, crazy. You tried to open this one. <laughs> okay. Still nothing. Oh, are these the ribbons? Yeah. We're supposed to make our own bows. No, we can wrap it around. We don't have to make bows. We could just use them. But I got. Oh my god, it's so much thicker than I thought it would be. But look uh, at the colors. Look at all the colors. They look so yummy. On a serious <laughs> note, tell me, is this not Christmas in a ribbon? And I went for velvet ribbon because I just felt. And it's got like that structure. All right, time for ribbons. Oh my gosh, some of these things just got really bashed in the, in the, in, on the way here. But at least the presents have arrived. The ribbon is here. Um, let's do it. <laughs> come on, come on. So we start with red. Yeah. I think if, oh, yeah, we start by putting red. These colors, I hope these colors will go. Let's do that so one first. So how are we doing it? I don't know, but we start. I don't. Let's start here first. Can you come? I'll go to let's, the back. No, let's start here. Do you think it's better to do the ribbon like that, going down, mm -hmm. rather than because I don't that I don't know if it's or it could be at a, like angle at an angle. So let's start this one like here. Is it? No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas. Oh, 
it gets so funny over oh, there. It's always so hard trying to film the tree. It is done for now. For now. I don't think it's perfect. I think it's different. I think the ribbons added something, but also I'm not sure. Oh gosh, look at that. It's just disappearing. I have decided to sit in front of it and see if it'll pick it up a little bit better, which I think it is a little bit. I've been watching also the JLo interview. Um, not the biggest fan of her music, maybe like a few singles here and there, but I just, I, I've, like I've watched a documentary. I'm curious about her enough to watch things about her. Anyway, um, so I feel like the ribbons added something, but at the same time, Will I ever think a tree I do is perfect? I do not know. I do, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. Yet I'll see someone else's tree and I'm like, that is just so lovely. Or I'll go on Pinterest and I'm like, how? What did they do? Yeah, I don't know what it needs. I don't, it's like when you look at it, it looks full. But when I look at it on camera, I'm like, should I have added ribbon there? Or maybe more of the bubbles. I might look for some bubbles to add. Not sure. But what I know is I'm done. I'm done with all the Christmas stuff. Christmas tree. Christmas tree stuff for the evening. Now, I don't think I showed it. But I did receive a package from Olive and June. Guess what this girl is going to do? She's going to wrap it. And she's going to open it on Christmas Day. Because... I'm crazy and I just want to make every day a Christmas day. No? Well, yeah, I want to prolong it. Delayed gratification is the name of the game. I have not opened it, um, but I will open it. Let's see, I will open it on Christmas day. Yep, along with the other package, which I think I might start putting under the tree, assuming no one else opens it. Anyway, I'm gonna say good night for now. There's nothing else, oh, well, I could possibly see what else I could do to make the space feel more festive. I just feel tired and I'm wiped out. I want to wash my makeup off and uh, curl up on the couch with my book, which has gotten really interesting actually. I'm about halfway through now, halfway-ish. Um, and that's what I'll do for the rest of the evening. Yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye!